Hi, I'm Pandu. Hi, everyone. I'm Bob. We share uh, a lot uh, in uh, the interest in space and landscape, and uh, since uh, 2012, we have been planning to make films uh, on this topic, and we focus on Hong Kong. We are thinking about history uh, between Canton and Hong Kong, and of course, Hong Kong's colonial history. Expo painting started, um, you know, in this uh, neighborhood on the west side of Guangzhou called the Thirteen Factory. And today, the Thirteen Factory neighbor area still function as a market for a small business that connects um, Guangzhou or the whole Chinese manufacturing industry with the um, rest of the world. So we see the historical lineage between uh, what we try to discuss in the film and uh, with um, what's happening nowadays. So um, we want to include the cityscape of this neighborhood of today in our film. You see the uh, this kind of business model of Da Fengchun today resembles this um, expo painting business model back in 19th century in uh, 13th factory. The expo painting painters, they are also nameless. What we know today is only the name of the studios. So we, we're thinking about, uh, you know, uh, if we take the uh, expo painting uh, and the, the business going on at that time as uh, a kind of point uh, of starting point of globalization, uh, so how much has changed in the globalization today and uh, or how much hasn't changed? So uh, in this film, using this two-channel format, we are making this parallel. In this film, we also want to include um, footage of um, real flowers, of real botanic gardens now, and also we want also check out how these kind of preservation of plants during the British colonial time, I think one central theme that concerned the British colonialists is that um, they try to understand, try to construct um, a system of knowledge based on um, the boundary between nature and the modernity. We also want to um, explore the boundary between those two notions. And uh, so uh, in this particular thing in the Botanic Garden, uh, we intentionally created this art of super artificial lights to blur the boundary between what is real flower, what is man-made. Actually, a lot of expo paintings are about flowers and plants. We find actually at that time, Britain was uh, hiring a lot of people, the so-called plant hunters, okay, to go to different places in the world, uh, of course, this part of China, to look for seeds and uh, various kinds of, you know, uh, uh, plants that are not available in uh, Europe or in Britain. And so, uh, so then we come to uh, the idea that you know British Empire uh, is not only an empire that uh, explore uh, into the rest of the world only for land or people, but also for botanic resources. This soil is now British soil. So we actually used the two films. Actually, this film is also about the history of looking or the history of uh, a kind of gaze from the West uh, uh, towards uh, China or towards uh, Hong Kong. So there is kind of hidden connection between Expo Painting and these two films that they are both products of uh, this kind of gaze from elsewhere. <laughs> 